to What the Book. I am Julia and today I'm going to be talking about The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Is this book, I don't know why I'm talking so fast, I haven't had any coffee or anything, but this book is so, so, so good. Like, I don't even know. I fangirl so much whenever I read this book, um, I just absorb it every time. It's a fantastic book to get into. It's a book series that if you're not into, you should at least try reading. And if you have read it and you haven't liked it, read it again. Now, The Hunger Games is about kind of a dystopian um, future, kind of Earth, called Pan Am. And there are 12 districts. And each year, um, each of the 12 districts has to send in two tributes between the ages of 12 and 18, one boy and one girl, into The Hunger Games. And The Hunger Games is a televised fight to the death that is the capital which is kind of speaks for itself the kind of like head of the whole country of Pan Am that's the capital's way of showing that no one can overthrow the capital it's um, people have to do this it's a requirement people have to do it and the story is from the point of view of Katniss Everdeen who lives in district 12 and she's 16 years old and her life gets totally flipped upside down when her sister gets reaped for the Hunger Games kids. And she volunteers for her sister, Prim, because her sister's only 12. And wh what the heck is Prim gonna do? She's just gonna go into the Hunger Games and use her, like, goat or whatever to kill people. Or hide in a tree. Or, you know, die. I don't think Prim would do a very good job in the Hunger Games. I don't think so. So Katniss volunteers as tribute! I volunteer as tribute! And then... Um, she has to go into the Hunger Games with this guy named Peter Malark, who's the baker's son, and um, he actually gave her bread when she was starving, and he burnt bread so that she could have it, which makes no sense if you've not read it in the context of this book. So read it. They, they kind of have a connection, but it's a connection as in they've only really met one time, except for they go to school together, even though it feels like there's no school in this book because, you know, it's never like, and then Katniss went to go do her math homework. No, it's, and then Katniss went to go stab the tribute with an arrow. What? And then they go into the capital and they get trained to go in the Hunger Games and then they go into the arena and it's like a forest and it literally looks like my backyard and that is a window. It's just like, really dark out right now so you can't see anything sorry but my backyard literally it, it my backyard is a forest and it looks like like the movie version of the hunger games then they get thrown into that and they have to fight to the death with all the other tributes and it's it's so well done and i don't even know the book just makes you devour say you start on on you know part one the tributes when i wake up the other side of the bed is cold my fingers stretch out seeking prince warmth but only finding the rough canvas cover of the mattress she must have had bad dreams and climbed in with her mother of course she did this is the day of the rebate you get hooked and you read it all night until you end on page 374 where it says end the book one and then you scream and go out again the next one because you need to read the next one right now do you understand what i'm saying but yeah it's it's the kind of book that you just can't put down you just keep reading it it's like it's a marathon read you can't not stop reading this Unless you've read it before. If you've read it before, then you know what's happening and you can just stop and go away. But with this book, there's so many plot twists and turns that you won't want to put it down. You'll want to keep it up by your face like this. Ow. <laughs> Honestly, seriously here, let's be serious for a second, guys. It's, it's definitely like a touchy topic, you know, kids killing kids. And I know a lot of, like, my mom didn't want to read it. And I know my mom's friends didn't want to read it because it's kids killing kids, which is definitely, like, a tender kind of ground. But at the same time, it's written so well that you can, you can almost ignore the fact that it's about kids killing kids. Like, when you read it, Katniss, especially in the next books, she does not seem 16. Not that that makes any excuse for her killing other people, but she does not seem 16. Prim, on the other hand, seems 12. It just sucks you in, and then you're in this fandom, and you're in the vortex of mocking J pins and capital food and flaming arrows, and 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 always and 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 hijacking and strangling and District Thirteen and Finnick and the Muds and Snow. The book itself is, I, when 
what I consider a fairly quick read, but I read pretty fast. It's a 300 and something page book. I have a really, really ugly little paperback because it got ripped and apparently they put shiny stuff under the cover of paperback books. Who knew? I do. I knew. It's so worth just devouring. If you ever have a rainy day or if it's really rainy around where you live just and you haven't read this, pick it up and just have a rainy day read fest. Just read it. Because once you put it down, you'll be done. I almost guarantee it. Once you've started, it's an addiction and you can't stop. And then you need to go read Catching Fire, which just came out of the movie, by the way. It was amazing. Spoiler alert, it was like so accurate that I was gonna die. I felt like screaming because it was so accurate and it's the most accurate book to movie adaptation I've ever, ever seen. Holy crap, so much better than the first movie. Go read the first book. Go see the first movie, I guess. I don't know. This book has so many feels. So many feels! Especially once you've read it and you know what happens, and then you reread it and you're like, No, 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 it's just like, it's just like, it's just like, oh, this is the last time I'm gonna see him. Oh my gosh, this is when she gets shot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm Katniss's homegirl. I'm Katniss's homegirl. I'm Madge. The character development is the, in this book is so good, especially through the trilogy. You totally see Katniss, the main character, for one, totally evolve from, you know, this book to Mockingjay, which is the third book of the trilogy. And you see Peeta, oh my god, you see Peeta completely change. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but holy cow, you see him completely change from this book. Completely, like, the, here, here's the train track that they're on, okay? There's a train track, right? So Katniss just kind of veers off a little and then he goes, <laughs> And he crashes his train. Right? Right. Okay, that's what I mean. Like, Catching Fire is my favorite book out of this series, but I don't know. It just, the, some people say the books in between stuff are really bad and the other, like the ones on the outside, like the first and the last one, are better. But personally, I think it's kind of the opposite in this series. Not to turn you away from, don't not read Mockingjay. And if you read Mockingjay, you need to make sure that you read it like three times because then you will totally understand what's going on. The Hunger Games is amazing though. It's I'm not saying anything against The Hunger Games. Go read it, please, 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 please. Put this book on your Christmas wish list. Yeah, yo, yo, what? Where did that accent come from, yo? And then your parents will be like, what even is The Hunger Games? And be like, um, no, 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 no. Go, you go like, he, here's the book. Go read it, okay? Okay, good, awesome. It is fantastic, and it is, there are so many emotions connected to this book, and um, there are so many times when you shouldn't get attached to a certain character, and you kind of do, but I think that happens in every book. But yeah, um, I really highly recommend this book. It's definitely a good read for holiday vacation. Um, it's a good read to ask for for Christmas. It's a good read to give for Christmas. Like if someone you know hasn't read it, then it's a really good one to just be like, Merry Christmas, got you a book. Cause books are so good to give to people who like books for Christmas. Because then they'll be satisfied. Hint, 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 book lovers, give your friends your favorite books for Christmas. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you heard, kind of, if you could hear my blabbering, then you should go read this book because it is a fantastic book and I recommend it to everyone over the age of probably 12. Don't forget that I love you all so, so much. I, I love you so much and I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing week and an amazing life and I love you. Okay. See ya.